Welcome to the iOS 7 programming tutorial. This tutorial goes over Xcode 5, which is required for iOS 7. So, to start off, you want to create a new project. I am assuming that you've already created the resources that you need for this. You want to create a single view application. and you'll need to name your product. I will call this test2. You can put uh, just none for your company's name. You need uh, an identifier. Can't, this cannot be left blank. So um, normally you'll do your website URL backwards, but that's when you have your own developer account. For now, just leave it as a dummy identifier. Okay, and then select where you want it. You want this in your home folder. At the root of your home folder is fine because it will create its own folder. So we have our project. Uh, let's size this window so we can drag some resources in. Decide on whether you want a portrait or a landscape app. I'm going to select landscape because that's how I did my art. And uh, it's good to create an art folder, so we'll just do new group. And then we'll go images. Let's go to our resources and we'll just drop these in. Hold command key to select multiple resources. And the blue bar that comes across is where you're going to insert it. And you want to insert it into images. You will want to copy these and create a group folder. Well, it's already created. But okay. And the first thing we'll want to do is to add our app icons. A bit of navigation here, you can turn these off or on by clicking these buttons. But right now I need the file names. And then we're going to add some app icons. This says 29 point, 40 point, 60 point. However, you're putting in retina images, which is two times that. So the 58 goes in here, the 80 goes in here and the 60 goes in here. And at this point you want to just run your app just to make sure everything's going okay. And there's no problem. And of course it does nothing. To stop your app, click on the square. You can test your app on three and a half inch retina, four inch retina, and four inch 64 bit retina. It's not going to do much. I can just do the four inch. One thing about the landscape mode is it fits nicely on your screen. If you do portrait mode, doesn't quite fit on. You have to scroll. Uh, if you do select portrait mode, you, you have another option. You can size the window. 75% uh, is not enough. 50% is what you need to make it fit. You can size the window with uh, command 1, 2, 3. You can rotate the windows with the command and the left and right arrow keys. Uh, you can also scale using the menus and you can also rotate using the menus. Ooh, rotate this back. 
Now we'll stop the app. Okay, so to do something useful, we'll bring up the storyboard. Let's expand the window a bit. We no longer need the navigator there. But we do need to bring up our controls. First thing you'll want to do is select the view controller. You don't want to select the view, you want to select the view controller. And inferred is no good right now. We'll pick landscape. That way we can, because I did select landscape. And we want to drop some controls in there. First of all, you want to put your background image in. So we'll scroll down to the list of controls and we have an image view. Let's drop the image view in. And because we've already got our resources, we can click on this image control to select our background. And there we go, we have our background. Next thing we'll want to do is that a button? Button's a little further up. And we'll drag our button in. And you can use those lines to help you line them up. Those are constraints. Uh, one thing you can do is you can modify the size to precise numbers. So let's make it fairly wide. And we could set our <clears throat> background image for this. And I forgot to import the buttons. So I need to bring that menu back. And we'll need the file view. Grab the two buttons. And now we can hide this again. And expand that again. Okay, so button. We want to select our background image. There it is. Okay, now we can run this again. Just to make sure everything's going okay. And there it is. We can press the button all we like. We haven't hooked it up to anything, so it won't do anything. Let's stop this and let's run three and a half inch and see what happens. Okay, the three and a half inch has the image clipped. So if you don't want it clipped, you can go down the constraints and constrain this. To the sides. So let's, it won't add it unless you click this button. So you need to click add constraints. Now you can see the orange strip and you know that it's constrained. Now we can run this again. And our image is squashed, but it's not clipped. So you have to decide what kind of look you want, whether it's clipped or squashed and fit in there. And this concludes the first tutorial in making a simple iOS navigation app.